What is up and welcome back to the Rangers career episode number 29. So we are still in the January transfer window and last episode we ended with the question of whether or not we should keep or sell Jordan Jones. And I know you guys like him and I do too. So we're going to keep him. I know you thought I was going to go the other way, didn't you? I almost did and I'm still very much on the fence about this, but I think at least for the rest of this season... It's important to keep him in the team. We want to go after the Europa League. We want to hopefully go for the treble if everything lines up correctly for us. We have a Hibernian coming up in the Scottish Cup today. I'm not looking forward to that, but we are on for the treble. I think we need him. I think we need to keep him if we're going to go for it. We start off today away at Aberdeen. They are in third place coming into this one. Six points separate the top four teams in the league. Then there's a 20 point gap, but it's all about the top four teams. One of us is going to win the title this season and it's still very much anybody's game. So this game also would have pitted the top two scores in the league against each other. But Christian Kuyame is a little bit too tired to start off with. Plus I just want to give Logan Nicholson some playing time, but James Wilson is absolutely tearing it up for Aberdeen this season. Uh, ref? Duh, that was a very, very very, very rough tackle early on. Is that a red card or a yellow card? That's straight red! Man, just got a straight red. We're not even four minutes into the game. Oh, Polster, please. If Polster outpaces Reese Kincaid, I know something is fucking wrong. Oh, no. Come on! There's no way that cross went through Ross McCrory's legs. He was dead in front of the guy. Look at the positioning of Ross McCrory. He's in perfect position. He just shoots. He kicks it right through his legs. We have a corner here. Come on, boys. Prince delivers. Ambrose! With the header. We do not score ever off of corners. But Ambrose, that was one. Was that a, Oh, no. Prince delivered the cross. I thought it was McCrory on the corner. But Ambrose gets his first goal for the club. And we're right back in. Oh, no, 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 Bodie. Shoot. How with 10 men, boys? How? Someone explain to me on the pitch how with 10 men we can't stop Aberdeen. They're just killing us. How is this happening right now? I'm going to sub the whole fucking lot of you if you don't pick your shit up. Ambrose, that's twice you've gotten scored on, bro. I know you've got a goal, but damn it, you've given up two. Up to Jordan Jones. Oh, we have a counterattack going here. Nicholson all the way across for Riley McKenzie. McKenzie is in. Riley McKenzie bangs it home. 2-2 just before halftime. It is game on once again. Go. Prince for Adonis Kane. For Nicholson. Through. There it is. Yes. Oh, Wade Rowley. Wade Rowley. How did you miss that one? Good ball off the wing. Here we go. One, two. Nicholson. Oh, what a ball. It got lucky. It was very lucky. Rowley's not missing that one. Oh, he, the, that, that left back was that close to cutting it out, and he just couldn't get enough on it to stop it. There we go. Three, two to Rangers. We are having one hell of a time trying to beat a 10-man Aberdeen. They are playing out of their minds. Go on, McKenzie. Oh, the run of Rowley was a little bit mistimed. Oh, McKenzie, pull back. In there. Oh, it's Logan Nicholson. I don't know how that ball even got to him. We've gotten a little bit lucky late in the second half with these last two goals. But we'll take it, man. We will absolutely take it. We need these three points desperately. You just try to lob our keeper. Or no. Are you serious? No. Brick Evans. Come on, man. How He threw it to the wrong damn team. That's like the third time this season Brick Evans has done that. Well, there's the final whistle. Thankfully, there's no more time for us to shoot ourselves in the foot again. 4-3. Aberdeen played with 10 men the entirety of that game, and still we only won by one goal. And right after that game, right after Brick Evans made that mistake, we got a transfer offer in for him. Union Berlin really know how to capitalize on my emotions. But nonetheless, we're not going to sell him right now. I, there's no point in selling him right now. Yeah, I could bring someone else in. We have a ton of money. This would bring in a little bit more, but I, I just don't think right now is the time to do that. 
We're almost to the end of the transfer window, and we have a loan offer in for Adonis Kane from Celtic. Why would I even consider that? And now we can get into a couple of simulations. Up next, we have Hamilton, who are next to last, I believe. Only a 2-0 win, but it's a win, so I'll take it. With the transfer window now closed, our roster is set for the rest of this season. And we have a visit from Motherwell with a fully rotated team. Still get the job done. That's what I like to see. And now we get into the Scottish Cup. Our first game in this competition this year. Wouldn't you know it, we have Hibernian. I'm going to put our best lineup out there because even this lineup struggles against this team. Well, it is snowing. Didn't notice that. And also, Hibernian have played their best lineup as well. So, here we go. What is going on? What is happening in this game? This is freaking madness. What in the hell? The ball is just banging, pinging off of everybody. The first 20 minutes of this game has just been stupid. Oh, that that's an issue. Woo! Douglas Watson. Wow, what a block by Douglas Watson. Well, that's another one in there. What a header. Didn't stop the cross. It's rule number one. It's rule number one. No crosses, because crosses are goals. Holy shit, this dude is so fast. Who the hell? Oh, that's a problem. Well, that's that's two nothing. Just like I think that's two goals in about three minutes. Sick. That dude was offside, but I mean, that's pretty much how this second half is gone. We've just got our shit pushed in. Oh man, Watson sent off. Yeah, that's his second yellow. He got the first one. The slide tackle was good, but the guy just popped right back up and got the ball again. And he went in for another one. Didn't get the ball that time. And the guy backed into him and fell over. Wow, that's that's brilliant. And there is the final whistle. No matter what we do. No matter what we try. No matter how hard we try. How hard we play. How big of a lead we build against this team. Not that we had one in this. We can't beat them. It's not gonna happen. We're never gonna beat Hibernian. Just, just, I'm not, I'm not playing them anymore. I'm done playing Hibernian. I can't stand this fucking team. So the treble quest is, uh, well, uh, that's, that was short lived. So we move on to take on Livingston. I'm just gonna put mostly the same team back out there. Let him get back. Oh my God, Kuyame's hurt. The season is over. Please, God, do not let that be a bad injury. Four. <laughs> I think we're just going to end the series there, boys. It literally could have been anyone else. I have a replacement for every single person on this team, bar none, except I cannot replace the production of Christian Kuyame. Yeah, we have Logan Nicholson. Fine. He's going to go back in. But he's not Christian Kuyame. I, this team is not the same without Christian Kuyame. And he's gone for the year. Our next match will be away at St. Johnston. Gank is up next in the in the Europa League. We get the win here. Wade Rowley back in the, in the rotation. Gets a goal. I guess that's good. All right. Well... Let's uh let's see how this goes. We're into the Europa League against Gank. We have two legs coming up. First one is gonna be away. Throw in here, hasty to Jack. In there for Paxton Palmer. Dude, that was a banging shot. It's in the back of the net. That shot was an absolute banger by Palmicle. He unleashed that. And somebody blocked it? Sort of? I don't know what just happened. Boy, Goldson intercepts a pass and instantly gets the ball up to Jake Hasty. That is definitely the right play. Oh, it finds Kent. Kent scores. 2-0 to Rangers. I'm not sure how that ball got through there. I thought I really, really thought it was going to be blocked. Oh, Hasty's on it. Hasty. Oh, that one was saved. I thought it might still find the back of the net. That keeps happening for us. I don't know how. 
Nicholson, very nicely done. Arebo through for Paxton Pomichol. He got no power. No power on that. I know you have power in your... Oh, he's left-footed. That's what happened. Yes, Tavernier. Beautiful stuff. Get it out wide. Pomichol in there. Nicholson. Oh, beautiful stuff from Logan Nicholson. It's through for Arebo. What in the hell are you guys doing with these finishes? One-on-one -on -one finishes in the 18. He didn't even come close. McKenzie. Go, McKenzie. Fresh legs. Come on, boys. I'm looking far side. He's not there. Oh, Wade Rowley was wide open, though. We missed him. Pull back. Arebo. Oh, my God. How in the hell? Arebo has had some of the worst shots today I've ever seen. There's the final whistle. The two goals we scored, we probably shouldn't have. But we, ha we should have scored like six anyway. I don't even know what just happened in that game. But we have two goals, two away goals, coming back to Scotland with us. It's a good spot to be in, I guess. Before the second leg with Gank, we have St. Mirren. We're just going to go full reserve lineup for this because I want to save our boys to try to get through in the Europa League. And we do get the victory. Wade Rowley scores again. He's actually having a pretty decent season considering he's the third string striker. Now he's the second string striker, but still, he's having a good season. So we come back home now to take on Gank in this second leg of the Europa League round of 32. We're not going to make any changes. We're just going to see this out, get the job done, and move on. Nice ball by Hasty to Tavernier. Oh, he waited too long to get the cross away. Oh, it does find Kent. And he hits the outside of the post. Why do they have a free kick? I didn't see anybody on the ground. They got the shot away. Because I, I touched him? And of course it's a goal because they don't miss free kicks. What the hell? I wish they would show the, the at least the foul again because I, I honestly do not know why they have a free kick. Oh, a rebo. Just storms straight through and takes that. And a beautiful ball to Logan Nicholson. Nicholson, finish that shit, baby! Let's go! No aids needed for our goals. We'll take that shit. 2-1! Somewhere, what, 2-1? It's not 2, it's 3-1 on aggregate. It's 1-1. It's one, one. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm fucking pissed. No. Oh. You are taking the piss. As soon as he let that go, I thought it was going top bins. And it almost did. But no. It hits the woodwork. Come back. Comes back. Hits Brick Evans in the back of the foot. And goes in the net. Come on, boys. Run this thing. Yes. Oh, Ryan Kent. Yes. Come on, Kent. Beautiful touch by Ryan Kent. Oh, he hit it right at the keeper. Can't do that. We have to score our chances. Oh, yes. Oh, please. Please. Arebo. Oh, my God. Arebo scores. This is, this is stupid. This game is way closer than it should be. They had one shot last game. At home, they had one shot. This game, they already have two goals. And they've both been aids. Go, Nicholson. Logan Nicholson, nicely done. What the hell was the pass from Logan Nicholson? He had two players. Both of them literally wide open. There was nobody there. Where did he pass the ball? Kent on it. Oh, Kent, get around a man. Go, Kent. Yes, Ryan Kent. Get off of him. Blondie's pulling him back. No. Yes. Arebo. Fucking blocked in front of goal again. How many times are you going to get that chance, Arebo? It doesn't happen very... Well, it happened twice today. Oh, Arebo gets it back. Nicholson through for Kent. Yes, Ryan Kent scores again. Oh, I'm so triggered right now. Nice. There you go. That's what we're looking for. Anthony Robinson on this. Robinson. Okay, that was in... That was very, very nice. It wasn't what we intended to do. That was supposed to be a first-time pullback to Ryan Kent. It went to Nicholson for no damn reason. But Nicholson, patience, holds it, lays it off for Kent. Kent, I think, has a hat trick in this game. And we are going to beat Kent. Get Gent. Gent. Gank. Kent scored. We're beating Gank. I'm getting very confused. There is the final whistle. Uh, it's 6-2. It ends 6-2 on aggregate. That was just stressful.
Well, it looks like our work here has not gone unnoticed. Bologna wants us as their manager. 91,000 pounds per week is, is a good chunk of change. We're on 26,000 right now at Rangers. Too bad that doesn't really mean anything. I've said for a long time, there needs to be something you can do with the money you earn. Spend that money on like upgrades for your manager to get better progression on things. I don't know, something. Because right now, $91,000 per or 91,000 pounds per week means absolutely jack squat. Plus, I mean, we're not leaving Rangers, so it doesn't matter. And one more game before we end this episode. We're away at Hearts. It's going to leave that lineup in there that did the business. Good God, Kent is on a mad one. So to end today, we are out of the Scottish Cup, which sucks, especially losing to Hibernian again. But you know what? I'm not too worried about it. We've already won that trophy once in this career. And it allows us to focus on the two trophies I want to win this season. Which are the league again for the second time. And then the Europa League. Which I still think, despite losing Kuyame, I still believe we have a very, very good chance. We do have a 10-point lead in the league now. Aberdeen are pretty much out of it. Hibernian are very, very close to being out of it as well. And Celtic are right on the cusp right there with them. So we haven't cinched it yet but it's close and in the europa league if i could pick one team that is remaining that i would love to play can you guess who it would be if you guessed everton again oh you're right and we have them in the round of 16 we have destroyed them humiliated them every time we played them and despite not having kuyame this is about as close to a free pass into the quarterfinal as I could possibly ask for. So we're ready to go. We start off next episode with Everton again. And I'm really, really looking forward to that. So that is it for this one. If you did enjoy it, make sure to let me know by leaving a like below. Subscribe if you're new. I'll see you when we come back for some more. Almost an Everton career. It's almost going to be the end of the Everton career. I can tell you what. I'll see you for some more Rangers career. See ya.